the characteristics of collaborative conversations about turn taking and getting your point across and making a claim and offering a counterclaim. It's an academic conversation. It's not a friendly, you know, we're going to update each other on some stuff going on in our lives. It's really much more academic. As such, it uses a lot of argumentation. We expect students to be able to make a claim, ask for justification for that claim, offer counterclaims. The conversation should be something like, I think this, blah, 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 because. And then another student can say, I agree with you because, or I disagree with you because, or how did you think of that? How did you know that? It's really this give and take in a conversation that remains very academic. Often in a collaborative conversation, students use evidence. Evidence from what they're reading, evidence from their own writing, evidence to justify and back up their points. We really are expecting students to be able to really think through their opinions, to think through their argumentation, to be persuasive, to inform. It's not a, I think so. It's really about, I think so because I'm informed based on what I've read or what I've written. I think there's an increased stress in these collaborative conversations because too many classroom discussions are social in nature. We're not hearing thinking. That's the whole point of a collaborative conversation, is that students clarify their own thinking in the presence of their peers, and that teachers can get a sense of what students think. That way we can then teach forward. We can feed that information forward and say, based on what my students think and know, what do I teach next? It's also helping in the writing. If you have collaborative conversations in which you justify your thinking based on evidence from the text, you're ready to write that way. And the more we can get kids to write with evidence, with justification, the more academic they become, the more um, cognitively aware they become of their own um, perceptions, perspectives, ideas, and opinions.